Hey there Canucks fans! Are you ready to dive into the life and times of one of the most legendary players to ever don the Canucks jersey? We're talking about none other than Gino Ogic, a true icon of the Vancouver Canucks franchise. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the highs and lows of Gino's life and career, from his early days as a hockey player to his untimely passing in 2021. Get ready to learn about his records, bizarre facts, intrigues, and personal life, this is the ultimate tribute to a Canucks legend. But first, are you a Canucks fan? Show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Gino quickly became a fan favorite with his gritty, hard-hitting style of play, earning the nickname, the Algonquin Enforcer, for his First Nations heritage and his ability to throw down with the toughest players in the league. He was a vital part of the Canucks team that made it to the Stanley Cup Finals in 1994, and his energy and enthusiasm on the ice helped rally the team to some of their most memorable victories. In 1995, during a game between the Vancouver Canucks and the New York Islanders, Gino Ogic sucker punched Darius Kasparaitis. The incident occurred after Darius delivered a legal check on Ogic, which resulted in Ogic falling to the ice. Ogic then got up and skated over to Darius and threw a punch at him without warning, knocking Darius to the ice. As a result of the incident, Ogic received an eight-game suspension from the NHL. Another memorable fight took place in a game against the St. Louis Blues in 1994. Gino Ogic found himself facing off against Kelly Chase, a well-known enforcer on the Blues roster. The two players engaged in a brutal fight that lasted several minutes, with both men taking some punishing blows. Gino managed to get the upper hand towards the end of the fight, landing several hard punches on Chase before the referees finally intervened. Which was your favorite Gino Ogic's fight? Share your thoughts on Gino's legacy in the Canucks community. Gino Ogic was more than just a tough guy on the ice, he was also a record setter and a bit of an enigma off the ice. Did you know that he holds the record for the most penalty minutes in a single season by a Canucks player? Or that he was the first player to score a goal at the United Center in Chicago during the arena's inaugural game in 1994? And who could forget the time he engaged in a friendly boxing match with then Canucks coach Mark Crawford during practice. But it wasn't all fun and games for Gino, he also had his share of struggles, both on and off the ice. He suffered multiple concussions throughout his career, and was diagnosed with a degenerative brain disease in 2014. Despite these challenges, he remained a beloved figure in the Canucks community, and continued to inspire fans with his resilience and determination. Gino Ogic was more than just a hockey player, he was a devoted husband and father, a passionate advocate for indigenous rights, and a beloved member of the Vancouver community. He gave back to the community through his Gino's Heroes charity, which raised funds for children's hospitals and other charitable causes. If you're a Canucks fan, hit the like button to pay tribute to Gino Ogic. Don't miss any Canucks content, subscribe to our channel. Sadly, Gino passed away in 2021 at the age of 50, leaving behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. He was a true warrior on the ice and a role model off it, inspiring generations of Canucks fans with his passion and dedication. From his early days as a scrappy young player to his later years as a respected elder statesman, Gino Ogic will always be remembered as one of the greatest Canucks of all time. Keep the Canucks spirit alive, watch our next video suggestion.